a trip to southern Spain wouldn't be complete without a stop in Cordoba, a small city between Sevilla and Granada known for its rich history and architecture. In today's video, I'll be exploring Cordoba for the first time, starting with its most iconic landmark, the Mesquita Catedral. After that, I'll show you a 2,000 plus year old Roman bridge and an area of the city that's known for its stunning greenery filled patios. And now, let's get into the video. Exploring Cordoba today with three girls from Sevilla. Two are from my Spanish school, and then the third, um, one of the girls met like in a Facebook group, and it was just like a random, um, they connected and we all met today. So it was kind of this joke of like, oh, is she, you know, is she gonna be a six year old man? We don't know, we'll see. But she's not, she's a normal girl from Canada. This is Annie. Hi there. From my Spanish school. Hey, I'm from Spanish school. <laughs> she has no, no, the most Spanish. No, you can talk. Okay. Like, be, no like, be normal. Okay, and then this is Boo. Hey. Oh yeah, American, English girl. And then Canadian, this is Hi, the... I'm Mary, this I'm, is from, Mary. I'm okay. from Ontario. <laughs> she's from Ontario. She's the one we just met today, and we're very glad she's not a six-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> I love gardens, but I can't keep anything I alive. <laughs> Straight up. I don't like it. It's too much work. But I like the benefits of a garden. I have yeah. other people garden. Me too. It's like, oh, this is for my garden? Like, man. That's yeah, that's so too. cool. I'm like, oh, just pluck some basil for my garden. Yeah, I just made this yeah. fresh salad. We caught a train at 8 a.m. this morning from Sevilla. So now it's like around 9 here in Cordoba, and the town is basically dead it looks like i mean there's a few people here and there but very quiet it is a sunday so many people are sleeping in or whatever at church i don't know in general i feel like spain is pretty sleepy in the morning so we are outside the main mosque in cordoba this is like the main thing to do it's a unesco world heritage site and so it's obviously first on our list and now that we're here, I see where all the people are in town. They are outside the mosque. We do not have tickets pre-booked, so we'll see how this goes. And we're not sure since it's a mosque, like if we're gonna need to cover up or what the standard is for this one since... You said it's not an active mosque? I don't know, I don't think so. Okay, we shall see. Tickets. Taquillos. Entrance for residence, bell tower, mosque. But adult large family. How was adult large family six? Okay, whatever. Welcome inside the Mesquita Catedral, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This unique building was originally a mosque but was later converted into a cathedral. Because of this history, it has varying architectural styles that represent both Islamic and Christian influences. It is interesting because you can clearly see some things that are very much like, okay, that is, you know, more of a mosque style, and other things that are very much cathedral, and yet it feels like they blend together nicely, you know? Like you can see older parts and newer parts, and it doesn't look like there's a fine line between it. Like it all, it makes this place what it is today. Some very old fancy books. You know, just some casual reading back in the early days. On the floor, there's a few of these like different stone cutouts here and there. I hear some more. And I wonder if these are tombs? Because I can't figure out what else that would be. You know, what else would the purpose be like that? But I feel weird stepping on them, so I'm like, Ugh, just in case. We are going to get some food now, and luckily our route takes us across this Roman bridge that's in town. This is on my list of things to see because it's just a really cool style, it looks like, from the photos. I need to get a side profile view of it, but it looks very long. It's up ahead in front of us. We are getting 
lunch now and it's always a risk when you pick a place but I think it's solid so what did you guys get? Boo. <laughs> sorry you're, you just took a bite. I can do it sorry. An acai bowl. <laughs> Looks lovely. <laughs> <laughs> We're all waiting. We know which one. got the uh, Benedict Royale. It's it's avocado and salmon and eggs and hollandaise sauce. Okay, and the one we're waiting for. Are the best. <laughs> I got the breakfast that was called El Mariato, which means the dizzy. So it has a little bit of everything. I have some smoked salmon, whipped ricotta toast. I have some hummus and crispy treats, and then I have a yogurt granola parfait and a little green salad. And it came with a juice oh, and a coffee. coffee. So everything you want in a breakfast. So good. Holy crap. And I also got this. <laughs> which is which is fine, but <laughs> the brunch spot was a win. And now we're gonna make our way back to the cathedral because there's like a mass or choir thing going on around noon. And we wanna just hear like the organs playing in there. We thought that would be cool. And the Roman bridge we walked on to get here had like this little marsh walk looking thing on the side. So we thought that'd be a good way to go back and then we can get like the, the side profile of the bridge and also see some little ducks and things. We love a good nature walk. We're looking for the little marsh walk, but we're not sure if it's actually open. Access res restricted, maybe? Oh, well, they have the same idea. We just want to look at ducks. <laughs> just the ducks. We're here for the ducks. Came to Cordoba for ducks. Came to Spain for ducks. Yeah, because we don't have ducks. No. None or Canada. geese, no. None. No such thing as like, a, can a Canada goose? Have you ever heard of such a thing? Yeah, they're not even in Canada. <laughs> oh, hey ducks. Oh my god, no way. Oh, they're fighting. Duck fight. Oh my god, That's br it's actually intense. I think they're trying to mate. Oh, these are males. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably fighting over her. Also, there's huge fish. Do you see those? Those are fish? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. There's huge. Yep, they do. Holy, they're still going. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I don't. So it's an hour and 40 and you can't leave? Yeah. Um, so up to you guys. I think it's a long time. I'm in a pass. And they're going to be speaking in Spanish and we won't really understand. <laughs> the mass is an hour and 40 minutes and you're allowed to go in but you need to stay for the whole thing. Which is totally understandable because they don't want people to like disrupt <laughs> probably the service. So we are going to pass and see what else there is in Cordoba. <laughs> Quarter of the city, right? Are we or where? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's all these signs for patios with an arrow. And at first I thought it was like the name of a restaurant, but it's actually like little courtyards you can pop into with beautiful patios like this, like beautiful setups and greenery. So kind of interesting. <laughs> The train to Sevilla is only 45 minutes, so that's not too bad. That's gonna be really quick. Price-wise, it was like maybe 17 or 18 euros per way. A little pricey in my opinion, especially after France. Like trains in France I thought were so cheap and so fast. So I think it's a bit expensive for a day trip. But now I've seen Cordoba, so. 